What's up, guys? I'm finally live. We had a little problem. I am not Stephen Michael. I guess I'm on his live stream feed. I am on Stephen's key tonight. Gonna wait for a few guys to get in here. We got, looks like we got about six folks in right now. Get about five folks. I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, we had to wait on Steven to uh, get his get his break done, and then uh, that went over a little bit. Too many hits. Too many hits. Too many hits. We got about seven folks in here now, so it's time to go. It's go time. What is up, everybody? This is Chris Bonanno with Phil Bomb Breaks coming to you live from the Wax Museum. That's right, because we are going to open up some 1959 tops tonight. And boy, it is one of my favorite designs. The time is now 9.43, and I am about to go over the checklist. Uh, going over the checklist, uh, let's see, we got Heath Toronto with the Milwaukee Braves. David Bond with the Detroit Tigers. Jeff Mook with Chicago White Sox. Matt Nutzman with the Washington Senators. Uh, Fred Hodgson with the K Kansas City A's, Chad Sweatman with the Chicago Cubs, David Bond with the Yankees and the Cardinals, Travis Spood with the Baltimore Orioles, Frederick Hodgson with the Cleveland Indians. We also have, uh, he also has the Los Angeles Dodgers, uh, Cortland McCullough with the Red Sox, Minho Cho with the San Francisco Giants. Um, we, also, we have um, David Bond with the Philadelphia Phillies, uh, trade with Adam Siegel. We have Ryan Goulet with uh, Pittsburgh Pirates and Cesar Perez with the Cincinnati Red Legs. What's going on, everybody? Um, and as you know, let's see, most of you guys who, who got on the break know uh, what this product is. Basically, it is. Um, let me see if I can. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. Uh, with your comments but I can't see them so um anyway this is a product called hip parade and what they did is they take two um they take two sets and then they repack them and to be honest uh if anybody saw the last last break knows that we hit we had a hunt a, a nice nice haul of hits um basically was uh we the big one was the mantle of psa6 but this is this is case one of 19 there are only 19 cases so um i expect this case to be pretty 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 awesome uh being that it is the first case that was packed this product is sold out and i actually i believe i have one more case you see it it is uh it is fully sealed, so we're going to go ahead and open it up and get started. I wish I could see your guys' comments tonight. I just can't. I don't know. I think it's because I'm on... They, they popped me on uh, Steven's link. Steven's not live, I am. All right. Let's see. They pack these things in here tight. Tight, tight. We have 10 boxes, and they are um, they are random boxes, too, so it's not like it's box 20 through 30. It's, uh, these are, ooh, isn't that? Let's see. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yo, if you want to see the comments, go on your cell phone, go in the room, and pull up the video on your cell phone. Okay. All right, I'll That's do that. That's you see the comments. All right. Okay, bye. All right. Let's see. He said to pull up the room. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep going. 
I know it's getting late for you guys, man. It's it'll be my bedtime in about 10 minutes. pack them tight when they pack them in here so we got 10 boxes 10 boxes One, two, three, four, five. and then five more over here we got a little Joe Boo we got Joe Boo helping us out tonight Oh, I can I can see you I can see you Stephen I can see you Stephen like it's yeah but actually I think that's all I can see. Let's see. Let me, I want to try to keep up with your comments here. Let's see. Do do Facebook. Let's go into Facebook and the boom boom. Here we go. Here we are. Stephen is live. One comment. Well, I don't know. All right. Okay. Let's get let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's go on to box number one. Um, there are all kinds of goodies in here. There are uh, and this is box fifteen of one ninety four. There are PSA cards. There are the new thing is, and I haven't seen one yet. But there are PSA signed cards in here as well i don't know i don't think there's going to be a psa signed mail because obviously this was uh this was done after mail on deceased but um there could be an eight alkaline or um, let's let's go oh set up a whole lot better than the last time can you guys hear me can you guys hear me? I think y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear me. All right. Good deal. Woo. Oh, we got to we, uh, We're going to start off good, baby. We are starting off good tonight. Let's see what we got. I'm going to try to hide them from you. And we do have do you have a hard card a hard case card so when they when they when they're putting the hard case cards out that means it's a uh, it's a mega hit it is a mega hit oops how do they pack this one oh. all right how do we get oh they have smaller ones like that they're not the big ones like last time all right, here we go. And of course, I was holding it right up to the camera. So this is 1959. Like I said, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Um, we're going to sleeve these up. Sleeve them all up. Grab some sleeves. There we go. Starting off, number one for the Philadelphia Phillies. Ed Boucher. Ed Boucher. And that is card number 39, Miscut. Miscut. Next, for the Washington Senators, we have Ted Abernathy. That is card number 169. 
going out to the St. Louis Cardinals. St. Louis Cardinals, we have Ellis Burton. And actually, that's in pretty decent shape. Nicely centered, nice clean back, uh, card number 231. Next up for the Cleveland Indians, we have Hal Narragon. Hal Narragon. And that is catcher for the Cleveland Indians. Card number 376. Next up for the Detroit Tigers. Ooh. Next up for the Detroit Tigers, we have Herm Weirimer. Herm Weirimer. That one I'm gonna do. And that is card number four twenty one. And for Matt Nutzman, we got a little the bomb Harmon Killebrew. Look at that. Look at that card. 515 Harmon Killebrew. Definitely, wow, that thing is really nice. I, I, it's not, of course, it's not going to gem, but you get a 5 or a 6 on that, and that should be really, really, really nice. That would be a really nice card. Um, there we go. Harmon Killebrew. First filth of the night. Not, not a bad start. Not a Yankee. And that's good. <laughs> we don't want to see too many Yankees tonight. We saw, every, we got Ruth and Maris and, uh, and uh, Manon last time. So... All right, on to the next box. This is box number 90 of 194. Box 2 starts now. Uh -oh. That is a nice card. Nice Harmon. See, Matt, you thought you were going to get crushed, and, and what, you wound up... You're, Right now you're 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 the hit of the break. It's only been one box though, so we'll see. I don't know. This is box number one of nineteen case uh, case one of nineteen. You never really know what's gonna happen. I mean, I, you figure, you, hey, come on, it was the first, it was the first box of the of the thing. They were gonna they were gonna stack it up. First box of the set. They're gonna stack it up. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I think we're going to. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't appear that we have a hard card in here. But we have some nice stuff. Let's see. There we go. There we go. You never know what's in between. Never know what's in between. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hopefully, we got some minor star in here. That'd be nice. First for the St. Louis Cardinals, and you know what? This is in really good shape. This card, I mean, for being a 1959, not bad, not bad at all. And that's Gary Blaylock, card number 539. Next, we have a Yankee. To be honest, I haven't heard of this one. But this is Ryan Duran. Ryan Duran. Sporting some really cool glasses from probably back in the day. Ryan Duran for the New York Yankees. And that is card number 485.
Next, we have for the Milwaukee Braves. Ooh, we have a nice card coming up. Anyway, this is Umberto Robertson. Umberto Robertson. Pitcher for the Braves. And that is card number 366. Next up, we have a team card. And that is the Boston Red Sox team card. And team cards are really, I don't know, there's there's guys that collect these team cards that are that they think they're worth a little. They usually go for a little bit more of a premium. Um, in good shape, great shape. It is the checklist. It's card number 248. So it is the whole checklist on the back. Nice card, nice card. Next we have a rookie of the rookie stars of 1959. And this is Don Lee. And he is for the Detroit Tigers. Don Lee. And that is card number 132. 132. And the last card of the box going to the St. Louis Cardinals. And that is Chuck Stobbs. Chuck Stobbs. And that is card number 26. So nothing special in box number two. We're gonna go on to box number four. Do a little housekeeping here. Actually, I'm gonna put this over here, and we're gonna that way you guys can see the see the cards. And this is box number one forty-seven of one ninety-four. Let's go. Box number three starts now. I'm glad my audio is better tonight. Last time it was everybody was having an acid trip. I think I had all my I had all my uh, microphones on at the same time. So now I have just one microphone, on. and it sounds like it's getting good, getting up good. You. So right now, Harmon Killebrew in with the card of the break so far. Only three boxes in. Let's see what we get next. <gasps> okay, we got we got another one. All right, let's go. Let's go. We have another another hard card hit. Another hard card hit coming. I have not looked yet. I don't know what it is. And you guys can't see it anymore. So Alright. We have for the San Francisco Giants, Daryl Spencer, second base. Card number four forty three. Next up, for the Cleveland Indians, we have Gary Bell. Gary Bell. Card number 327.
Next up for the Cleveland Indians again, we have George Strickland. Oop, grab two. George Strickland. And that is card number 207. Next up for the Washington Senators, we have Russ Kermeyer. And that card's in pretty good shape. Card number 191. 191. Next up. Oh my god, nice card coming up. We have the Philadelphia Phillies, Harry Anderson. Harry Anderson. Card number 85. And going out to the Milwaukee Braves and Heath Toronto, we have... Warren Spawn, Warren Spawn, All Star 59, All Star Selection. Another card in good shape. Definitely, definitely gets you. I mean, what a great card. I mean, that's, you know, he was, he was one of the best in the day. It was Spawn Insane and Pray for Rain. That's what they said. That's what they used to say. Spawn Insane and Pray for Rain because they were the two best pitchers. It is, it's a bazooka back, so, awesome card, congrats, that's an awesome card, let's put him up here in our little showcase, put him up here next to Joe Boo, Joe Boo, Joe Boo is bringing him out. No Yankees yet, though. No Yankees. All right, let's go to the next box. Box 128 of 194. We've got Spawn. We've got Killebrew. And we've got box number, well, I know, four. Yeah, four on the way. So let's go. Let's go. Put him over here. Box number one looking pretty good early. Case number one, my bad. Case number one, looking pretty good. What do we got in here? All right, looks just regularly, like a regular box. Let's go over here. First up for the Kansas City Athletics, Tom Carroll. Tom Carroll. And that is card number 513. Again for the Kansas City Athletics, we have we got another team card coming up too. Bob Grimm. Bob Grimm. Kansas City A's. Who uh, a few years later would move to Oakland. I want to say that was in 1961. 
Bob Grimm. Card number 423. Next up we have Kurt Barclay. Kurt Barclay for the San Francisco Giants. And that is card number 307. Next up, we have, for the Boston Red Sox, we have Dean Stone. Dean Stone. Pitcher. And that's card number 286. Next up, for the Kansas City Athletics, we have another team card. Those are cool. I wish, you know what? It'd be kind of cool if they made these, these cards again today. Team card, one of one. Kansas City Athletics. Card number 172. And last but not least, for the Baltimore Orioles, we have Joe Ginsburg. Joe Ginsburg. Card number 66. Joe is a fine bowler. So Joe, Joe had a bowling career, too. All right, guys. Not a whole lot to speak of there, box number four. But let's go on to the next box. This will be the halfway break. Box number five. It is box number 166 of 194. Let's go. Let's, um, not moving. Okay. Oh, we got another hard card. I just caught a glimpse. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. We have a mega bomb. Mega, 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 mega bomb. I don't want you to see this. I don't want you to see this. I don't want you to see this. We have a PSA, guys. A PSA. This is bad. This is awesome. Someone's about to be mega happy. All right, let's just go with the regular cards. This is, oh, this is why I love opening this product, guys. This is why I love opening this product. They always, there's always something good in here. There's always something good. First up, we have Clem Laban, LA Dodgers pitcher. Card number 403. Going to the San Francisco Giants. Infielder, Ed Brazond. Card 
card number 19, bad cut, miscut. And and missing uh so bad that's in bad shape. Next up for the Detroit Tigers, we have Neil Chrisley. Neil, oh my gosh, what a box! Neil Chrisley. And coming up. Got to do it. We got a little fifth bomb Aaron Matthews fence busters. And that's not even the card of the box. That's not even the card of the box. Card number 212. Aaron Matthews fence busters. And I know that is going to be worth a little bit. That is a nice card. Another one going out to Heath Toronto. That is a cool card, my man. I am. You know what? I don't know, Heath. We might have to. I have to make a trade on on Trade Tuesday. That is nice. That is nice. Man, this 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 case and I knew it. Case number 1. Case number 1 of the set. Case number 1 of the set. Fence Busters, Hank Aaron, Eddie Matthews. 172 home runs or 172 runs were chased across the plate. 61 homers. This was this was early in um early in Aaron's career too. So let's pop this over here by Joe Boo. We'll pop this over here. Another nice card for Mr. Torondo. We got some goodies coming up. Goodies coming. I don't know if you can see that one or not. Well, that's not even the, that's not even the card of the next we have Bob Miller for the St. Louis Cardinals I don't think I can see all y'all's comments Bob Miller St. Louis Cardinals number 379 And next, going to Minho Cho and the San Francisco Giants, we got a little football nasty. PSA 8, PSA 8, Willie Mays All-Star. My God, that card has got to be a freaking bomb. 8, that is it, 8. PSA 8, 1959, Willie Mays. The Say Hey Kid is the second highest batting arc of all active NFL players. A bazooka back. That is some money. That is some money. PSA 8. You do not find many PSA 8, 1959 cards just hanging around. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous card. I don't know. Is Minho in here? He's probably he might have gone to bed. That is a night. Nice, welcome, welcome to vintage Minho. That is a gorgeous card. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to let's uh, let's take Harmon off. But that's definitely that is definitely the the uh, the mega card right there. That is definitely a mega. That is that might be the that might be one of that might be the card of this entire uh, set. And the and the mantle was the card of the set. For, and I knew I knew when I saw it was case number one. I was like, you know what? We're definitely take case number one is going to take care of us tonight. Oops. 
Case number one has taken care of us. Dang, man, that is awesome. Willie Mays, PSA 8. That, I don't know. I, I'd like to know what comps are on that. That is definitely worth more than $50. All right, let's go on. Uh, box number 109 of 94. We are in the past halfway box. We have five boxes left. And to be honest, if we don't get another card, this case was just solid. If we don't get another card, this was still a solid case. But I'd really, really, really love to see a Mickey Mantle pop out of here. That would be really nice. Because I haven't seen a 59 Mantle uh, in a while. That That is really actually... Uh, I've got a collection of Mantles upstairs. And uh, I don't know if I... I don't think I have 59. I actually had one in college, and unfortunately it got stolen from me, so it's kind of sucks, but tis a college student's life. Alright, this is just, so far, just a regular looking box. So let's get this over. I don't know, the, uh, the Fence Busters came out came out on a regular they didn't sleeve that one up I can't believe they didn't actually come on there we go let's go well we got a sporting news the sporting news is always usually a minor star here so let's go we have number one the sporting news for the American League All-Stars or Roy Seavers left field I want to say he was with the let's see he might be I'm about to check I think it's a cardinal I think he's a cardinal it is card number 566 And it looks like the Cardinals. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll sort him out later. Next up, we have, for the San Francisco Giants, we have Hank Sauer. Hank Sauer. And that is card number 404. Hank Sauer. Next up, we have for the Washington Senators, outfielder Jim Delsing. Jim Delsing. And that is card number 386. Next up, for the Washington Senators, we have John Romanowski. John Romanowski. Card number 267. Next up we have for the Los Angeles Dodgers, Johnny Clipstein. Johnny Clipstein. And that is card number 152. Next up, we have for the Chicago Cubs. We hadn't called the Cubs much lately tonight. We have Bill Henry. Bill Henry. And that card actually is in really good shape. That is card number 46. Well, deservedly so. We just had a ab normal average box because most of our boxes have been crazy. Um, on to box 
number seven. And this is box number 185 of 194. So we were, we're close to the end here. We have another hard card, do we? Do we? No. We do not. We don't have a hard card, but maybe we have something. All right. Ooh, you know what? Don Elston. So the first card is Don Elston of the Chicago Cubs. And to be honest, he wasn't a bad player back in the day. Oh! He wasn't a bad player in the back in the day, but the next guy was really good. And this will be the second one of these cards that I've seen come out of this. And we got a little Filth Bomb! Mays Cats makes serious history. And that is the famous, that is based on the famous catch where he does it over the back. That is awesome. And that is going to Minho Cho, too. Wow. This is, this is nice. This is a nice case. There have been some really nice vintage cards coming out. Let's, let's sleeve this up. That is a hard sleeve. We're going to. And that is, a, I mean, everybody knows this catch. Everybody knows this catch. Everybody knows that catch. Everybody. That is when Willie Mays made one of the most iconic catches in in the history of baseball. That is awesome. We're gonna we're gonna. Uh, Add another, another one. We've got another one here, but not not uh, not as good as that one. But next up, we have hitters bafflers, and that's Sisler and Brewer, and they were a nice duo of pitchers for the Boston Red Sox. And I'm gonna go ahead and heart sleeve that as well too. Because these cards, honestly, these cards are really nice. This was, uh, these were the insert cards back in the day. Not the, not as fancy as the ones that they have here in present day. But these were Sisler and Brewer. Kind of like uh, Spawn and Sane. <laughs> For the for the Red Sox, card number three forty six. Put him over here. We've had some hard cards coming out. Next up, we for the Cleveland Indians, we have Vic Power. Vic Power, and that is card number two twenty nine. Next up, we have, for the Chicago Cubs, Taylor Phillips. Taylor Phillips. Chicago Cubs. Card number 113. And lastly, last card of the this box is for the Chicago White Sox, we have Dick 
Donovan. Dick Donovan. And that is card number five. Card number five. And that is the end of box number six. Or actually, box number seven. On to box number eight. This is car, uh, box number 71 of 194. So it's only 194 boxes. We have 52 and 33 nice low numbers. Low numbers, I like the low numbers. Here we go. Let's see what we have. Let's see if we can add to this nice little showcase that we have going on. Okay. No hard cards. So, put these out here. First off, we have Arnie Porticaro, Porticarero for the Baltimore Orioles pitcher. And that is card number 98. Next up, for the Pittsburgh Pirates, we have George Witt. And that is card number 110110. George Witt. Next up, we have Johnny Cux, New York Yankees pitcher. Johnny Cux. And that is card number 289. Next up, we have Rocky Bridges for the Detroit Tigers. Rocky Bridges. And that is card number 318. Next up, for the Kansas City A's. We have Russ Meyer. Russ, I want to go in there. There we go. And that's card number 482. And last but not least for the box. We have the Philadelphia Phillies, Al Scholl. Al Scroll. Al Scroll. And card number 546. And that is the end of box number eight. Caesar, I can't see your hold on, I can't see your thing here. You got the red. You got the red. You got the Cincinnati Reds. I don't. I don't think that we've got many.
Hadn't been too many reds yet. All right, next up we have box number 52 of 194. 52 of 194. Oh yeah, Amino, you just you just popping in? You you rocking, man. You rocking, man. That Willie Mays, I don't know, you might want to go check up with that on that Willie Mays. It's a it's a near mint 8 and you don't see yeah. That is ridiculous for a 1959 card, a 8 for a card in a maze. That's definitely that is definitely one of the probably the bigger cards of the whole this whole uh pack. Let's see what we got. On to box number nine. Okay. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we, we've hit our plateau. Especially with um especially with the maze popping out. We got you got the maze catch makes history. Um First up, we have for the Kansas City Athletics, Harry Chitty. Harry Chitty. And that is card number 79. Next up, for the Philadelphia Phillies, we have Frank Herrera. Ooh. Ooh. We got to get... We, this is one that should be sleeved up. Gil Herrera. Or Frank Herrera. Gil Herrera. Who knows? Isn't that great? It might, it might be Gil Herrera. Gil Herrera. That sounds... That no wonder I said that name. I think he has a son named Gil. Played. Next up is a nice card. Very nice card. We have... For the L.A. Dodgers, and this is going to Frederick Hodson, we have a Gil Hodges, and actually, that's a really nice card. Gil was a good player back in the day. That's card number 270. I need to hard sleeve that one up. Say so he's in the hall. He is definitely in the hall. Gil Hodges. That's a nice, nice card. He is a, I mean, he's a minor star. He's a minor star. Big name. Played for Brooklyn for many years. And then, of course, this is, uh, I think, the second or third year that they moved out. That's definitely a showcase card. <laughs> definitely a showcase card. Next up. George Crow, St. Louis Cardinals. Three thirty-seven. It's got the gum stains on it. This. And next up, we have another baseball thrills, which is always a good card. It's not, but it is. Calavito's Calavito's great catch saves game. It's same as the as the maze, but this is just Calavito, and he played for the Cleveland Indians. And the Indians are going to who those Indians going to tonight. Frederick Hudson. So another nice. This is like I said. These are these were the. These were the insert cards of back in the 1959 days. Not your 
Not your run of the mill gold card once every other two, three packs, but baseball thrills. Nice card too. Nice card. It it might uh, nicely centered. Card number four sixty two. The back is clean too. That's nice. And last card of this box. New York Yankees, not not the one we want. But Jim Coates, Yankees pitcher. And that is card number 525. Minho, it has been a good day for you, my man. It has been a really good day. I watched some of that break, uh, last break and now you're bringing now you're bagging home some Willie Mays PSA 8s. That is that is really a nice card, man. That is a sweet card. I can't, I can't believe that's almost too good to be true, honestly. A PSA 8, 59 Mays. Oh, man. That is a good. All right, on to the last box. This is box number 33 of 194. And we will start it right now. Knife out of the way. Good luck, everyone. This is the last box of the night. Box 33. Might be some some more heat. I hope there is. I really do. I hope there's some more heat. It'd be nice. Yes, we do have a little bit more heat. We have another... Do we? No. Nope. My bad. Just a shadow. Just a shadow. Thought, it, thought, it, thought there was some hard plastic in there. Put it up on this. But you never know what's in between until we open it up. Might be something good. Although, like I said, this case has been... This case has been better than the last one. It's just that the last one just had Mickey Mantles and... Okie doke. First up, well, we do have a Yankee here. Bob Turley. Bob Turley. Bad, bad shape card. But you know, I mean, like I said, a lot of these guys, I mean, geez, to put, put two sets of 59 together, it's got to take a long time. Card number 60. Bob Turley. Next up, for the San Francisco Giants, we have Mike McCormick. Mike McCormick. 148. Wow, you pulled a Don Kick too. Yep, I you know I've gone on some runs like that, but lately, not not lately. <laughs> Cleet Boy Cletus Boyer for the New York Yankees. He's kind of a semi. He was kind of a semi star back in the day. He wasn't, of course. Uh, Mantle and Maris got uh, uh, Mantle and um. Whitey Ford was the big pitcher of the of the staff back in the day, but that's card number two fifty one. That Whitey Ford card, there's Whitey Ford card. That's a really nice looking card. If who knows, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's in here, but whew, um, not not going to be in this this case. But Dick Stewart for the Pittsburgh Pirates. A 
and that is card number 357. For the Detroit Tigers, we have Ray Narleski. Ray Narleski. And that is card number 422. And last but not least, the last card of the night, O.C. Alvarez for the Detroit Tigers. O.C. Alvarez. And that is card number 504. All right, guys, what a case. We're going to have to do a little hit recap. Um, let's start with the hard cards. Put them over here. And these are the ones that are probably a little bit above just a common. Um, we've got Calavito's Great Catch Saves the Game. We have Gil Hodges, who was a... Um, minor star in, in back in the day. And I, I want to say, I, I'm not sure if he's in the Hall of Fame or not, but he might be, actually. Uh, next up, we have Batters, Bafflers, and those are the duo for the Boston Red Sox. They were a good pitching duo. And then we have a very nice, very clean Harmon Killebrew 515 Um it's an off-center cut. Um, if you want me to, uh, who's got this card for the Washington Senators? Matt, if you want me to, I can send it up to. Uh, I can send it up to uh, Stephen for grading. I, I don't know if he. I'm not sure if he's. Uh, as you know, he's he's really skilled at looking at new cards. I'm not sure if he's skilled at looking at older cards, but. Looking at this card and the the type of corners, you know, I I could see this thing going for like a five or a six. I've got some cards that are similar looking, similar shape, and uh, they come back as five or six. And the reason is is because you have you have the uh, the uh, the case. Or, I mean, the uh, the off cut. Um, next, let's go to the fence busters. <laughs> That is Aaron and Matthews, and that was card number 212. That's a really nice card. Going to Heath. Next up, we had Warren Spahn, the Sporting News, left-handed pitcher, National League uh, All-Star selection. That was card number 571, Bazooka back. Then we go on to Willie Mays Hayes. Mays makes the catch series history. I know you guys know this catch. I mean, it's been replayed all over the place. Um, he goes back and makes the the backhanded catch, and it's just if you don't know this catch, then you never. I mean, it's just you should you should watch that catch or a replay of it. And of course, the hit of the night, the hit of the night. My goodness, I am just gonna. Minho, before I ship this out, I'm gonna stare at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a good look at this card. This is, I mean, you just. This is a very rare occurrence. Uh, near mint, mint eight. Willie Mays, 59 All Star selection. Yeah, it'd be better if it was the regular, uh, the regular, um, you know, common card, or just the base card of the set. But man, the centering on that is gorgeous. The corners are nice and pointy. I mean, it is just, I mean, it's just like you took it out of a pack. It's just like you take, and you know what? The funny thing is, is you could, you could take pack, you take new cards out of packs and they'd get eights too. So it is honestly like it just got out of the pack. Anyway, guys, I have had fun opening and hanging out with you guys tonight. I appreciate you guys letting me break for y'all. And until the next break, we will see you guys on the flip side.